The following 10 keyboard shortcuts range from default ones that are part of Windows 10 and 11 right out of the box, to custom ones based on the free Microsoft Power Toys. If, by the end of this video, you have not learned at least one valuable tip to help you work faster and more efficiently, let me know in the comments and I will share more. One of the things I do very often is copying my screen, a window or a custom screen region to my clipboard, basically taking a screenshot. Windows has a nice little tool for doing so, the snipping tool. By default, you can trigger it by pressing the shortcut Windows key plus Shift plus S. However, instead of the default tool, I am using a free and much more powerful alternative called ShareX. It does everything the snipping tool does and many other things making it easy to automate task sequences after taking a screenshot. For example, I often use it to snip a region of my screen, upload the screenshots to a website, in my case Imgur, shorten the URL to the uploaded file and copy the URL to my clipboard, all with two clicks only. You can define a custom shortcut for starting ShareX. In my case, it is Ctrl plus Alt plus Z. And if you prefer using the Win Shift S shortcut, you can remap that one with the help of Microsoft Power Toys. You can do that with the Keyboard Manager feature. This lets you remap keys or shortcuts. In our case, I want to remap the Win Shift S combination to trigger the Ctrl Alt Z combination, which will start Share X, of course. One last tip here. In addition to the keyboard shortcut, I also programmed my mouse to do the same when I press the mouse wheel down. Now, I don't even have to press a combination of three keys, but just one button on my mouse. How cool is that? Using Ctrl C and Ctrl V for copying and pasting text is probably one of the very first things every Windows user learns. It used to be that copying text to the clipboard would override whatever you put there before, meaning that you could only ever paste the last copied text or image. Now there is an option to keep a clipboard history. Before you can use it, you need to activate it in the Windows settings. By the way, here you can also enable the synchronization of your clipboard content to connected devices. This is very useful for copying text between your PC and a mobile phone, and of course, vice versa. Once this is done, you can copy multiple texts and then by pressing the Windows key and V instead of Ctrl V, you can choose which content to paste. This also works with pictures. Here is the next shortcut I probably use dozens of times each day. It allows me to mute and unmute my microphone. But unlike other application-specific shortcuts, this one works on a system level. This means regardless of the software I use, be it Teams, Zoom, Slack or anything else, I can use the very same shortcut for muting and unmuting my microphone. As you may have guessed, this is not a native Windows feature, but comes as part of the Microsoft Power Toys. You can define any key combination you wish. In my case, I opted for Control and the back tick key, simply because they're both on the left end of my keyboard and I can easily trigger them with one hand even without looking at it. Along the same lines, here comes tip number four. I defined the shortcut Windows plus Control plus back tick for turning my camera on and off. Again, this happens on a system level and is application independent. Next up is the simple keyboard shortcut Alt and Space. I configured this to start yet another Power Toys feature called Power Toys Run. This is a very powerful quick launcher plus a search plus a basic calculator for Windows. Pressing the shortcut opens a small dialog where you can quickly and easily find anything from files to settings to applications on your machine. The whole thing is extremely useful and I use it very often every single day. This next tip replaces some of the more traditional keyboard shortcuts for arranging windows on your screen. Let's take a quick look at those first. The Windows key in combination with Z opens a set of predefined window positions for the currently active window. You can click on one of the suggested zones where you want the window to go or use the respective number to quickly snap the window to it. Alternatively, you can use the Windows key combined with your cursor keys to move the window around your desktop and maximize or minimize it very quickly. Now, while all these are nice, my favorite way to arrange windows on my desktop is not exactly a pure keyboard shortcut but a combination of modifier keys and the left mouse button. I am talking about the fancy zones feature, also part of the Microsoft Power Toys, which offers a powerful and fast way of arranging application windows on your screen. If you hold the shift key and move a window around, 
you can snap it to any predefined zone. If you do the same while pressing Shift and Control, you can snap it to multiple zones. For me, this is the most efficient way of handling window sizes and positions. It does require a bit of setup for defining the zones initially, but this pays off very quickly. Number 7 is a super quick tip. You can launch any of the first 10 applications pinned to your taskbar by pressing the Windows key and the corresponding number. In my case, Windows plus 1 starts my browser, Windows plus 2 my email client, and so on until Windows plus 0 for Visual Studio Code. This is a great way to start your most frequently used applications without even taking the hands off your keyboard. As I'm mostly working at home right now, I don't use the next shortcut very often, but in an office environment, it is very useful indeed. Pressing the Windows key and L will immediately lock your PC. Very useful when you need to leave your desk quickly and want to prevent people from snooping around. My next tip, number 9, might seem a bit more on the fun side, but emojis are increasingly being used in normal communication too. Windows offers an extensive emoji library that you can easily access by pressing the Windows and period key. This opens the library, letting you search for and choose from a vast range of emojis, animated GIFs, cow emojis and symbols. This shortcut works wherever you can enter text. The last shortcut for today is very helpful whenever you need to get the color code from anything on your screen, a picture, a document or a website. Pressing the Windows and C keys together will open the color picker, which is, yet again, part of the Microsoft Power Toys. Move the color picker over the color you want and press the left mouse button. This will open a small window, allowing you to copy the respective color code to your clipboard. A nice touch is a history of the seven most recently picked colors. Additionally, you can choose in which format you want to copy the color code. The available formats can be configured in the Power Twice settings. Here you can also adjust several other functions of this feature, including the activation shortcut, which color formats to show, and much more. And there you have it, my 10 favorite Windows keyboard shortcuts. As you have seen, I went beyond the common ones and added some more advanced shortcuts to help me with my productivity. Let me know your own favorites in the comments. As always, if you found this video even remotely helpful, perhaps drop a like or even subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to make sure you don't miss the next videos. I hope this helps you to work more efficiently with your applications and windows. However, there is always more we can do to improve our efficiency, as you can see in this growing playlist of productivity tips and methods. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.